I'm just waiting for like a big T-Rex to appear or something. Or whatever the equivalent would be. <laughs> Some giant monster. You shall not pass. Uh, that's a person? Seems friendly. Hello? I can hear the bones talking. Okay. I'm J Red Ice Veins. Do you ever wonder why things look better without their skin on? For instance, you can only really see the bones when you take them out. You can hear them better that way, too. Uh. I can hear them calling to me from the other side. Go up there now. The gatekeeper is about to turn some adventurers into bones. I'll collect those later. I followed the bones. They led me here. I just moved in when I got here. No one seemed to mind. Everyone here seems to be waiting for something. Mate, why don't you like me? Say what you're going to say. You hear any bones talking? Come get me right away. Okay. Okay, so then I guess this is where all the people who have entered sort of live, hang out, maybe. Maybe they're just. Confused. Yeah, so you've got an inn. Wonder. If... Should have listened to me. Oh, you've got a nice fro, my dude. Yuck. I wonder if it's the case of, like, the longer you stay here, the more your sanity erodes. Like, what am I doing to myself right now? Where are they running to? Hey, wait, my dudes. You there, stay away from the gatekeeper. Let us handle this. So, does the gatekeeper have to die in order for the gates to open, or could I just like sneaky sneak through on, now? They should have listened to me. Oh no, they're bleeding all over the place. Dead. I warned them, didn't I? Okay, so the formidable gatekeeper has destroyed a party of adventurers. I should talk to the residents of Passwall before trying to deal with this creature. Okay, that's fair. So, um, those first four minutes were recorded at another time. I, uh, sort of lost track or wasn't paying attention to time. So new day, new recording session. Um, someone commented about, I think it was the frame rates and, uh, resolution. And look, I have to be honest, I didn't actually check that many settings when I installed the game. I was kind of just rolling with whatever the game, uh, defaulted to. So I have gone in and I've changed the resolution. I've played around with a couple of other settings. So hopefully it might look so much better, I say, for like the third time. <laughs> Whatever, leave me alone. Um, also, there's... Oh, hey, buddy. You're not the guy I need to find. Uh, there is another game coming out. Uh, it will have actually already come out by the time this video uh, is released. 
Oh, hello. I'm trying to find someone and there was someone up here, but I think that could have been the guy who just ran at me. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'll sort of play around with that game and see if it's a doable game for a playthrough. Um, and if it is, I'll go ahead and do that. So just be prepared. Things might change up. Um, but also, are you who I need? Yeah. Hey. Oh, you're who I need. Hello. Greetings. Um, but also, I'm not 100% sure what my upload schedule will be like just in the coming weeks. My mum will be in and out of hospital uh, coming up to Christmas. So just going to have to bear with me as I sort of figure things out and hopefully I can at least be uploading one video a day but we'll kind of see what happens. All right let's talk to this dude. Do the bones talk to you too? Oh mate you're the guy who I talked to before. Nice. I did google uh, this area just so I had an idea of what needs to be done. I want him dead. I need him dead. His bones are calling to me. Rumor has it you want him dead, too. If you're any good with a lockpick, we can help each other out. We can get into the gardens of flesh and bone. Um, who's rumor about what? I've not been telling people I need to get past the gatekeeper. They say the gatekeeper's magical. I don't believe in magic, but I do believe in bones. And the best way to kill something is with the bones of its own. I can see the bones of a dead gatekeeper in the courtyard of the gardens. The door's locked, though. You'll pick that lock, and I'll collect the bones. Then I'll make some arrows, and we'll kill the gatekeeper. Sound good? Sounds great. Can you give me a lockpick? <laughs> Hurry up! The bones are calling! Um, I wonder if I can buy lockpicks from someone. You look miserable, love. Like, just that posture. You need to go see a good chiropractor or something. Hello, I'm Dredwin. No one was running this place when I got here. They left plenty of things behind, though. What do you need? I need lockpicks. Can you help me with that? Oh, yes. Perfect. Sure. Sure. Let me just... All my gold. Gone. Lockpicks. Done. Oh, repair hammers. I don't want 20. I'll take, like, two. See you. Well, I'm glad I could help you with your posture for like all of five seconds. Wow, look at that dress! What in the mess? How do I get one of those? I also love that she's not actually walking up the stairs. <laughs> kind of just gliding up. <laughs> I love this game. Um, okay, so where are the repair hammers? Let's just do some quick sneaky work on something. Uh, let's go that, that. Look at me repairing these things. I haven't broken the hammer yet. I'm apparently a very skilled armorer. Oh, sweet. Don't mind if I do. All right, buddy, I've got four lock picks. Yes. Let's do this. We need those here, take this lockpick. Careful, it's the only one I've got. You open the door, I'll kill you. Of things. course. Let's go. Oh gosh, I'm following someone else. Oh, why does this always happen? Oh, okay. Well, at least we're running. Whoa! Whoa, you're running faster than me. Wait. Wait. Nice gardens of flesh and bone. 
Wait, 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 mate. Okay, that's good. Oh, very easy. Okay, but watch me break every lockpick. Uh, yeah, I don't need to hide. <laughs> nice. I got skills to pay them bills. Alright, we're gonna have to fight everything that's in here. It's not a nice looking place. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, hello. Uh. Oh, let's not use that one. Can you change weapons? No? Okay, fine. Oh, good job, buddy. I'm glad I was here for that. I was just trying to get my spells all set up. Here we are. From these gatekeeper bones, I can make some arrows. When will these bone arrows be ready? Find me in a few hours. We'll kill the gatekeeper. Well, why don't you like me? Why is every Why does everyone look so evilly at me? Okay, so um we can either wait a couple of hours or we could go do some other stuff. I could always go through the door and check out that whole ghost situation but I also kind of if I can get this done in one video that would also be the bee's knees where are you going okay I'm just gonna go back to wherever and hope that I can find him yeah look at me jump I'm such pro at this now one day I am gonna fly It's a nice lizard creature. How do I get myself one of those? Oh, okay. Where am I even? <laughs> oh, nice. Yes. Cool. Glad we went our separate ways, but now we have reunited. You got hey, no, none of that. So he said a couple of hours, so I'm assuming if we take that in the literal sense, it would be two hours. Let's do it. Let's do three. Um, can I have your dress and also your hair? Oh, okay. Where's my friend at? Nope, not here. Um, or maybe over here? Maybe over here. Yes, one of these houses he must be in. I guess that's usually how these things work. a lot of bones this is what I want my house to be like look at look at it all fur helmet a repair hammer I'm assuming he must be sleeping upstairs Ooh, amber? It'd be hilarious if he like, you know, before we go do the thing, he's like, oh, let me go and get all my stuff. It's like, don't know what stuff you're talking about. Ooh, what's in this basket? Yeah, I don't want to take the basket. What's in the basket? OK. 
Okay. It's another repair hammer. Don't need a pickaxe. Alright, buddy. Um, I feel like in doing this, I probably should have better weapons, but like, you know, you only live once, right? Do the bones talk to you too? The arrows are ready. Here are some for you, and I'll keep some. Let's go kill the gatekeeper. We might die, but there's worse things. All right, follow me. Let's go. Let me, hold on, let me equip these things. Um, okay. So I think how this works is you need to fire an arrow at him and that will take down his defenses for a time and then you can run in and attack him uh, with my sword that does six points of damage. I've got this. We're going to be great. Are you actually just following me? Because I don't know how to get us to where we need to go. <laughs> Eh, jumping uphill, it's so hard. Um, this is an interesting situation. Oh, I think she's the other person you can talk to. H how are we doing this, my dude? took three times there is a bit of a technique to it but um got it done the gatekeeper is dead i should retrieve the keys to the gates of madness from the gatekeeper's corpse i can do that the gatekeeper is slain congratulations the honor of taking the keys from his corpse is yours goodbye Thanks for your help. Ah, yes. So we've got two choices, I guess. And I didn't read up anything about the choices because I didn't want to know which would be the better one to go through. So I have both the key to mania and the key to dementia. I can go through either door of the gates of madness. And I'm not sure if going through will have any kind of repercussion on me. Yes. I live to serve. So, you've managed to kill the gatekeeper. Pity. Well, you'll now be able to enter the realm proper. You'll notice there are two doors. One leads to the lands of Mania, the other to Dementia. Enter through either one. The lands are quite distinct, but both are Sheagorath's domain. You'll want to seek out Lord Sheagorath. I believe he has plans for you. Try not to disappoint him. I guess we can ask about the doors. The lands of dementia reflect the darker side of its residence. It is easy to get lost among the tangle of roots growing out of the ground. If you wish to meet dementia's citizens, 
Seek them out in Deepwallow or Felmoor. I'm sure they'll welcome one such as you with open arms. The lands of Mania are bright, vibrant, and full of color. You'll find its inhabitants reflect the land itself. If you wish to meet the residents of Mania, you'll find them in the settlements of Hale and Highcross. Take care, though. Though the citizens and creatures of Mania are colorful, they can often be quite deadly. I'm sure you can handle it, though. So I was initially thinking of going through Mania because I did like the idea of things being colourful and cheerful and whatnot, but I feel like they might murder me. <laughs> and if I can get through without being murdered, I think I would be happy. But then, I mean, dementia sounds like it'll be a struggle to get through. So it's kind of like, do I want an environment that's going to be hostile or do I want people? and creatures like Fora or Flona that seems to be the options here <laughs> um, how do I know which door is what okay let's do it I guess blessings of dementia does that mean I'm I forget things <laughs> Okay, I've entered the Shivering Isles. I should seek out Sheragorath. I can do that. Whoa. Whoa. Where are you going, buddy? Oh, hold on. I was going to say this would be a good spot to, I guess, leave this video, but he's just run off without me. Mate. Alright, whatever. We can explore this area, I guess. Uh, in a future video. <laughs> Hopefully I make it through unscathed. We'll see how it all comes together. Right, apparently I have to keep moving. That's something I'll have to keep in mind, I guess. 